Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your monthly reading. It'll be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Um, feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Remember that time is fluid, so this situation could have happened already, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. And even though I'm trying to make these general, it's really whatever spirit wants to share. So sometimes that can be love, sometimes that can be finances or career. We'll see what comes out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Scorpio need to know. Door to romance. Nice. What else for? Angel of love and strategy. Wow. Nice, Scorpio. I'm <laughs> just like in shock. Okay. Door to romance. Sagittarius just had this. Okay, so someone is definitely, I mean, this is obviously going to be a love reading. I, I, I am trying to keep these general, but it's just not working out. I think spirit just loves romance. So someone is definitely strategizing about love. Let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or commented on my videos recently. I really appreciate you all. I read all of your comments. I'm not able to get back to everybody, but I definitely read them and I really appreciate it. Scorpio need to know. Scorpio need to know. Now I'm going to be talking about. I'll, I'll I'll be using this the term someone because I could be talking about you or another person. Energies can be vice versa. So just flip the roles if they resonate. King of Wands. Wow, definitely someone is thinking about action. Someone is passionate with Page of Wands. Definitely what I was thinking. Two of Pentacles. All right. I am, I am thinking Two of Pentacles is um, something to do with a strategy card here. Strength, courage, sign of Leo as well. Things on my card. Okay. Um, someone is definitely going back and forth about the best way to approach a situation here. There's definitely passion and action. This person's thinking all about action. Okay, we got the moon, sign of Pisces. Okay, we got the higher font, sign of Taurus. Um, what else for Scorpio? What else do you have for Scorpio? There you are, Scorpio with death. Hmm. Didn't you guys have a reading recently about leaving a situation? I have death and higher font. Hold on. Hold on, Scorpio. I think you guys had a reading recently about leaving a situation, and I have you here, death and higher font in the moon. One more for Scorpio, please. One more for Scorpio. Ace of Swords. Two of Cups under the deck. But we have four major arcanas, so definitely major change and new beginnings with the Ace of Swords. We are going to clarify all of these, but right away what I'm seeing is action. I don't see an offer, but I see thinking about action. The Hierophant is here. It could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Leo that you're dealing with, or someone with, with those signs in the chart. But honestly, I don't focus on that. I focus more on the energy. And what I see here is courage, transformation, commitment, and doubt. Unknown. But you're thinking love with the Ace of Swords. This is the bottom of the deck. When I put down Ace of Swords, you're, you've had clarity about a Two of Cups, a partnership. 
Let's get into this, Scorpio. Tell me about the King of Wands. I think this is Mr. Strategy. Yeah. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords. This person is doubting or, or has fear or stress or anxiety about taking action on something, starting something new. Oh, this one also flipped over. Seven of Swords, my card for strategy. Okay. King of Wands is the one that wants to make a move. I'm getting that very strongly. He has a lot of doubt and fear. There's something unknown here. Something he doesn't know, he's not aware of. And I'm saying he, but it's not. Don't focus on the gender. It could be a female as well. Tell me about Page of Wands. Someone here doesn't know if this person is going to accept them. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Or if this is the right course of action. Yeah, they want to make an offer. They've There's been some sort of epiphany they've had with judgment. This is also um, a card about wanting to make a judgment call, have better judgment, make a, a final decision of some sort. Um, it's a call to action as well. So it's like someone has had an awakening of some sort to make this offer is what I'm getting. The Page of Pentacles is a small offer. They want to start off small here. But I think they're thinking commitment with the Hierophant. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. What's this Two of Pentacles about? Oh. Hold on, that was sloppy. What is this Two, two of Pentacles about for Scorpio? Some of you have asked me, like, you know, why don't I pick certain cards? It's because I can feel when something isn't right. I can feel when a shuffle isn't right. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I just know when I'm supposed to pick something. Oh, Ten of Cups. Family, happiness. Anything else for this Two of Pentacles? Six of Cups. Three of Swords. <sighs> this person is conflicted. They're going back and forth because there's been pain in the past with a connection. I feel like this connection made them happy at some point, but someone screwed up here or there was some sort of a painful situation. I think it's making this person hesitate Power under the deck. Wow, okay. Tell me about strength. I'm seeing this as very clearly as courage. I'm trying to have the courage to make this offer. Or to walk away from something. I have Eight of Cups. Tower under the deck again. This person had a tower moment they walked away from. Didn't we have this reading? I swear, I could have sworn we had someone walking away in the last Scorpio reading. I'm not sure. Um, but someone definitely walked away. It took a lot of courage for them to walk away. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Spirit. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups, please. Yeah. Someone walked away towards a new beginning, a new cycle here. Something ended with the world. Justice under the deck, there's probably legal situation or someone just wanted to make something right or something wasn't right or wasn't balanced and they walked away from it. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Scorpio. What's this about? Don't they, what don't they know? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Well, this person is scared of change or there's been a lot of change and it's causing them to have fear or doubt for others of you the wheel has turned divine has stepped in here and so it's like almost things are happening too fast or there's just not enough information for this person wow queen of wands though king of wands doesn't know if queen of wands is going to accept 
Page of Swords. He's been watching Queen of Wands or vice versa here. Hermit right under that. So definitely Queen of Wands or King of Wands is single or has had some sort of spiritual retreat or has healed from a situation and that's why they're ready to come in. Um, I feel like they're also wondering if this other person is single. So they've been watching, um, doing research here. Tell me about the higher font. I feel like with the higher font, I mean, I'm about to clarify, but my initial guess here is this person is thinking small first, but eventually long term. They want to take it slow. I just got that very strongly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, are you ready? So we got the Fool and Six of Wands. <laughs> um, yeah, this person, whoever wants to make this offer, they're thinking success, a new, they're taking a leap of faith. They're hoping for success and commitment. Yep. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. They're thinking marriage. Tell me about death. Okay. Yeah. Scorpio. This could be you trying to make this offer with Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, but it could be reversed. Um, this person is stuck. They're paralyzed right now. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. But they are thinking Knight of Cups, so they're thinking about making this offer. They're thinking of a reunion possibly with three of cups. They're thinking about going out, taking this person out, drinking, having fun, etc. Tell me about the ace of swords. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm sorry. My camera, the storage was full. So we ended on two of cups, two of swords, knight of cups. So this person, as I was saying, is very... It's, they're stuck mentally. They don't know which way to go, but they're thinking Knight of Cups is what I was trying to say there. Um, and then I shuffled for clarification on Ace of Swords. And right away I got all of these cards. Now you're gonna, just going to have to trust me <laughs> that I actually shuffled them because I did. I just didn't notice that um, my camera had cut off. So first card I got was King of Cups on Ace of Swords here. Um, and then I got all of these that flipped over. So I'm just going to go through them again, um, even though I just talked about it. But I got Nine of Cups, Magician, Six of Pentacles, and Justice. Um, so uh, I got Justice again. Some Something about someone wanting to make something right, a situation right again, is what I, I'm getting there. Um, this person is manifesting their wish. Either you or this other person. They're manifesting their wish, and I feel like their wish is, you know, based on love, on a clarity they've had about how they feel. So this person's going after their wish, or they're trying to make something right again. Um, they might ask you to go out on a date, to go out drinking. Um, they might ask for a reunion with Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Right under that, I have Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. So definitely somebody thinking love um could be a gemini um there they could be focused on someone who's single here and wanting a reunion with them so i just am getting that very strongly here and then i'm just going to pull some more cards just because i didn't shuffle oh my god are you kidding me okay ace of cups there's your confirmation guys <laughs> i didn't just pull those cards just to pull them <laughs> This person's thinking new love, for sure. For sure, new love. I'm just gonna leave it there because, I mean, to me, it's just like, thank you, Spirit. Thanks for letting them know <laughs> that I'm, I'm not just playing around here. Like, this is what this is what the message is. New love. A clarity about going after what they want. Strategizing how to approach this person, for sure. So, I'm gonna leave it there, Scorpio, but let me know if this resonated with you, what the situation is all about. Thanks you thank thanks again to those of you who have liked, shared, subscribed or commented. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.